Now I want you to see this map first because if you look at the radiation map without seeing the wind map it's not going to give you everything you want to see. So a matter of fact I'm going to do something new today. I'm going to screen capture a few of these higher readings. I'm going to screen capture the whole map so that way when I click through it you're going to know where the wind blows and I'm going to overlay it over the wind map. Just thought of today and I think that's going to work out. We're going to see. Let me know uh, how you like it. Alright, so we got the wind map flowing. Because when I first I saw some high readings right around here in Fort Worth, around Dallas. And at first I was going to think that maybe it had something to do with the St. Andrews, which is to the left. But if you're looking at the way the wind blows, it's probably something that's right around Fort Worth or Dallas that's causing that to spike out or maybe something a little bit north. But I was looking at some of the radiation stations north and it doesn't look anything too crazy unless there's something in between there. So there was the Radcon 5, so it was the highest reading on this Geiger counter that's ever happened. So that's something to keep watching. And then also in the Oregon area, there was another Radcon 5 around the same time. And it's hard to tell how that wind's blowing, where that Radcon 5 was. Uh, but I think that, that water's, that could be coming right off the ocean there. So we'll see. I'm going to overlay the high readings and we're going to see how the wind's blowing from where you're at. And you see that high reading around Portland, Oregon is right around here. So it's at the bottom of the jet stream. Probably another reason why that's getting a high reading too is you see this intermediate wheel. It's like it, it keeps revolving the crap back into you, basically. It's like recycling the radiation from there to Hawaii. And I think Hawaii is kind of higher to where it usually is as well.
Just a quick observation about Fukushima. Their plant, it went up in NSVH. It was around 78, 77 NSVH, so it's went up about four or five thousand NSVH. And they just did this dumping about two, three weeks ago. So this just gives you an idea that they're gonna be on a monthly cycle. It's like they're they're on the rag, and then they gotta dump their rags into the ocean basically. So just to keep this baby around at 81,000, that's what they're going to keep doing, guys. They're just going to keep dumping, do their monthly dump into the ocean. South of Daiichi, we had Dainini. And look, there's a, there's three hot spots that just popped up. They're trending up. And right below this forest right here, that's Nahara. So that's not a good sign for the people that are moving into Nahara. When these are trending up, and now Fukushima just went up 4,000 SVH. And down here, you have the newly restarted Sendai reactor on the Ring of Fire. 